Don't mind my hair, y'all. It's wrapped because it's flat iron. You already know where I'm finna go. Dang, hold on. Maybe I should take it off, y'all. But I just took my, my thing off. Y'all see? And it just bounced back. Like, if y'all are new here, I go get my mom from work. And most of my vlogs, y'all yeah, have witnessed me going to get her stuff. So, I seen this video on TikTok of this girl letting her boyfriend cut her hair into a bob. So, basically, she uh, gathered all her hair, put it in the ponytail. And then he just like cut, you know, cut it in the back. And then we fixed it up, obviously. Um, I told him to cut it like as long as he could. And then if I wanted it shorter, we go, we could cut it and fix it and everything. So that's what we did because we can, if, if it's better to have like, it's so much better to have too much hair than not enough. Because if it's not enough, we can't even fix it. But if it's too much, you can start, you can still chop and, and everything. Y'all see my hair? This is I I did this. I flat ironed it. It's not a silk press. It's just flat iron. Yo, okay. So I seen a video and they was like, "What's the difference between a silk press and a flat? Like just straightening your hair?" So basically, this is my take on it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below. Let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm right. Okay, a regular flat iron process is you just uh, wash, blow your blow dry your hair, then just straighten it with a with a flat iron. Um, a silk press. Is you wash flat iron, I mean, you wash your hair, blow dry it, flat iron it, then wrap it, and then you sit under the dryer, and then you come back up from under the dryer, and it is silky. Isn't that what it is, or is it not? I don't know. I think that's. I got some of my neck. I think that is the. the, the uh, I think that is it. Like, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, or if I'm right, or if I'm wrong. How much I. Friday going Friday like the weeks just be coming and coming like it's ju it just turned to the new like to 2024 the new year and it's almost March my birthday's in March y'all what we doing my birthday's in March and I'm, I'm probably gonna record it I wanted to have a dinner with like all my friends that's like girls females and just go you know just eat maybe at like a higher end restaurant um but I don't really have that many friends and I don't know, I need to start sending out invitations now if I want that to happen. So I think like, I think I'm gonna do it y'all. I, I think I do, I want to, because I have like a couple friends, maybe like four, I have like four friends or not even friends, just like four girls that I do want, that I know for sure off the top of my dome that I want to attend. I don't know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to like go out to eat. So I have. Let me think. No, I don't want it to be awkward. Like, I don't know. I want to have a dinner, and I want my sister to come. But my sister is so very antisocial. Like, if she don't know you, she not gonna go. You know what I'm saying? But I really want her to go. She might go if I beg her. We gonna see though, because I'm trying to eat and everything this is my 22nd i'll be 22 you know i'm thanking god thank god like for making it you know like it's crazy dude people don't be making it let me text her anyways i'm here i'm, I'm six minutes early so i'm about to fix this because this is pissing me off dude I'm hungry, dude. I want something. Well, I'm not hungry. I had pancakes and eggs this morning for breakfast. But I want something like this. Going. I want something. I want something so good, dude. I want something so good. I want something so good. I want some food. Hey, I want some food. Hey, I want some food. Hey. You know how when you're not hungry, but you crave stuff, and then it makes you hungry. That's why I am right now. Is that does that mean I'm fat? 
Or like, like, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Does that mean I'm fat? Because if I'm, if if y'all calling me fat, we gonna have a problem. Because why y'all calling me fat? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all always see me when I'm in the car. I be feeling so bad. Like, y'all, I literally don't do nothing. So when I have an opportunity to go get my mom or go do something, I'm pulling a camera out. I was watching Challenge on this challenge challenge she plays the sims and she's a tiktoker y'all probably seen her and a youtuber she uh does twitch also um she was talking about how she doesn't watch certain youtubers that have not been like because when she was talking about how she was poor before and she said she don't watch certain youtubers that don't that haven't experienced the same lifestyle that she had had like when she was younger and you know and i was like i can relate to that relate to that so much because i'm not gonna watch a youtuber that didn't I'm not saying came from the same struggle but but came from the same struggle let's be honest you know it's like if you never if you have never had ramen noodles i can't i can't sit with you if you ain't never had um to go a day without eating i can't sit with you like I just can't or if if you gag at the fact that I'm that we may not have had multiple outfits or like many outfits in like like middle school or whatever or whatever I can't sit with you because you're discrediting my where I came from so it's like I had to like adapt at a at a younger age y'all I'm not saying I was like we were okay I, when I was younger, I wouldn't say we were poor because my mom tried her hardest. Like we had, we we had a roof over our head, clothes on our back, food on the table. But there was sometimes where we couldn't eat what we wanted to that day. We had to settle for this, settle for a TV dinner, settle for noodles. We didn't. When I was younger, we didn't. We didn't go to restaurants. We didn't go to restaurants. We probably. My dad took us to like Dave and Buster's like once with me my brother and my sister all together like once and that was probably the biggest thing that we've done that we have did with my dad my mom didn't go because they were like broken up at the time it was like uh, my mom was a single parent so yeah my mom tried her hardest literally like she did everything that she could for us to have what she didn't as a child and me and her telling us her childhood and her background and her history we definitely grew up better than her and that's how I would want to be with my one son in like far, 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 so many years from now. Like my one son, I, I want a son, y'all. I want him to be a boy. If it's a girl, then I'll have to readjust. I want it to be a boy and I would want him to have so much more than what I had as a child. I don't, I like, I want him to have better than me. I think that's how everybody is. They would want like their child to be brought up better than them. Or if that's not your mindset, then that should be what you want like i wouldn't I, I can't i can't sit with a person that was brought up in a rich household like because y'all didn't go through what i went through like if we have a conversation what are we going to talk about the sky being blue and the sun being yellow and our both were in the, the same color in our worlds yeah of course and be able to reflect on each other on each other's life like oh i went through that too oh really did y'all have this you say you had ramen noodles but did you have this you know what i'm saying like we can't we not sitting in the same world i had ramen noodles you had foe like what's up 